Hi viewers, welcome to YouTube channel Kangli Pakistani Support. Today's topics are application of Lee Sattler principle at the manufacturing of ammonia by Haber's process. Effect of change of concentration at the position of equilibrium state. In this section, we will discuss by taking some examples from everyday life. So, without wasting any time, let's begin the class. In the previous class, we had studied the statement of Lee Salyer's principle, and also we had studied the effect of concentrations, effect of temperature, and effect of pressures at the state of equilibrium. Today, let us discuss the application of Lee Salyer's principle to reactions of industrial importance. Okay, in this section, we will discuss formation of ammonia gas by Haber's process. So. The chemical equilibrium reaction taking place in this process means in the formation of ammonia gas by Haber's process is 1 mole of nitrogen gas combines with 3 moles of hydrogen gas and this reaction is a reversible reaction and it maintains equilibrium so it gives 2 moles of ammonia gas. This reaction is an exothermic reaction so the amount of heat release is 92.5 kJ per mole. That's why I am written here. Del H equal to minus 92.5 kJ per mole. Here, the negative signs of del H indicates that the reaction is an exothermic, means the heat is released during the uh, formation of ammonia by combining nitrogen and hydrogen gas. Okay. As the above reaction maintains equilibrium state, Lee Salyer's principle will be applied so that the equilibrium shifts toward the forward direction that means the reaction goes toward the forward direction or to get higher amount of ammonia gas okay so let us see what is the effect of temperature at the above reaction according to Lee Salyer principle lower the temperature greater would be the yield of ammonia as the forward reaction is exothermic okay However, if the temperature is kept low, the reaction will take a long time to attain equilibrium state. So, a compromise is to be made for economical process. That's why an optimum temperature of nearly 673 Kelvin is usually employed during the formation of ammonia by Haber forces. Next. Let us see the effect of pressure at the formation of ammonia by Haber process. Okay, that means let us see the effect of pressure at the above reaction. According to Lee Salyer principle, higher the pressure, greater would be the yield of ammonia. Why? Because the forward reaction involves with the increase in total number of moles. So, usually an optimum pressure of 200 atmosphere is employed during the formation of ammonia gas by Haber process by combining nitrogen and hydrogen gas by using the above reaction. Okay. Next is the effect of concentration. According to Lee Salyer's principle, an increase in the concentration of reactants, namely nitrogen and hydrogen. Okay. Reactants are nitrogen and hydrogen. Okay. Right. Clear. Equilibrium would shift in the forward direction, that is, formation of ammonia gas would be favored. So, continuous supply of nitrogen and hydrogen gas is made under the reaction chamber so that higher concentrations of reactants, nitrogen and hydrogen gas are maintained under the reaction chamber. Okay. By maintaining the higher concentrations of nitrogen and hydrogen gas under the reaction chamber, the reaction would shift toward the forward direction, right? Over and above this, ammonia form is removed continuously by liquefaction so that the equilibrium shifts in the forward direction. 
the last effect is effect of catalyst okay we ha had already discussed that catalyst does not sense the equilibrium state it only helps to get the equilibrium state in short time okay so finely divided iron is used as a catalyst to achieve the equilibrium state rapidly and also molybdenum is used as a promoter to increase the efficiency of the catalyst in this slide let us discuss the effect of sense of concentration at the state of equilibrium by taking some examples from everyday life okay the first point is why clothes dry quicker when there is a breeze or we keep on sucking this is because water vapors of the nearby ear are removed when there is a breeze or we keep on sucking so cloth loses more water vapor to the surrounding ear to reestablish equilibrium with the surrounding ears clear the second point is why we sweat more on humid day but if we sit under the fan it evaporates this is because more sweating takes place because the surrounding ear has large amount of water vapor on a humid day so our skin cannot lose more sweat to the surrounding ear because surrounding ear is already in the saturation state that means surrounding ear has more water vapor on a humid day that's why our skin cannot lose more sweat to it that's why we sweat more on humid day if we sit under the fan the fan removes the humid air of the surrounding air so the evaporation of sweats start from the skin the third point from everyday life the effect of sense of concentration at the equilibrium state is to decay caused by sweats our teeth are coated with an enamel right this enamel is also known as hydroxypeptide which is an insoluble substance this hydroxypeptide exists in equilibrium with its ion s the chemical formula of hydroxypeptide is cf5po4 whole into 3 oh okay it is in the form of solid state this hydroxypeptide is ionized into its ion and maintained equilibrium is that its ions are 5 mole of calcium cation plus 3 moles of phosphate anion plus 1 mole of hydroxide anion okay if this hydroxypeptide is ionized into its ion it is called demineralization while if the ions of the hydroxypeptide are combined and again form hydroxypeptide it is called remineralization okay clear so if we do not brush our teeth after sweets what will happen the sugar gets fermented on the teeth and produce s plus ion means hydrogen ion which again combines with hydrogen OS negative ion means hydroxide ion from the hydroxypeptide. That's why the equilibrium shifts in the forward direction because the hydroxide anion of hydroxypeptide combines with hydrogen ion and forms water. That's why remineralization cannot be happened due to the lack of hydroxide ion. Okay so if we do not brush our teeth after sweet the sugar gets fermented on the teeth thereby causing to decay okay for today here my class is over at the next class we will discuss about the acid and bases